So what happens if I crash? I'll come pick you up. Looks like he's like posing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show those abs. Give me a Victoria's Secret model. After last week's tube slash Ilias drama, we got a call this morning, an unexpected call, mind you, saying that they received a report of what I don't know, and that I needed to come in to see the GI doctor today at 3 30. And it's 4 o'clock now. Yeah. And we haven't seen the doctor. And I'm growing by the second. Yeah, and then she's going to say that's a problem. You sure you don't want to hook up to a pharaoh? No, because it's not going to make any difference. It's yes. intestinal, not stomach. So do you want to tell the vlog how the appointment went? Me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> not really. And basically, basically, it's not good news. You don't want to elaborate? I don't want to talk about it, no. You don't. <laughs> I don't. Do you? No, but I feel like I've already started this conversation earlier. So I feel like you got to give an update on how it Go went. Go ahead, it was you, not I'm, me. I don't Just even... let me be alone. Y'all are a mess. Yeah, we've been stuck in traffic for a good 20 minutes. And we still haven't even got off the you street. You notice how the they shut that little thing on. down in the room? That TV monitor thing? That yeah. I think it timed out because it's on a timer. Yeah. Everyone yeah. was like when, gone. Like, when when everyone's the office supposed to be is gone. closed, yeah. Party over. The GI doctor looked at some of the x-rays and everything and thinks that I have chronic intestinal pseudo obstruction. And she wants to refer me. That lighting's all weird. To oh, a did I tell you? motility specialist. Oh. And I guess that'll help try to figure out why this is happening. And then I have an abdominal series tomorrow to get more Are specific. We doing that tomorrow? Good lord, we don't get a break. Oh, oh, I figured it was tomorrow. To get more specific measurements of the seek. That'll determine if how at risk for perforate bowel perforation I am and if a rectal tube needs to be inserted. Well yeah, one line which, gets to the line. But not just the rectal tube, they're talking about um, And then she talked about a C tube. Yeah. Which that's uh, honestly no. The weird part of this is that the whole CIPO deal, I mean I know a lot of people with that diagnosis and they all do not use the restroom for weeks. And I kind of have the opposite problem from the mastocytic enterocolitis. So while I am going to the bathroom, my scans are still, it's like only the liquid can pass through. And my motility sucks to move like air and that kind of thing. Take special care of Does your mask uh, filter smells too? Smells some. It's not a hundred percent, but it's better than. It's better than without it. Yeah. Yeah, especially walking by out there. We are leaving our last appointment of the week. Is it our last appointment? Yes. Yes, thank God. The cardiologist does not think I truly have a PFO. Well, so why didn't he just which email Which was that? my first impression too. Yeah, so because my last umpteen of the cardiograms did not show a PFO, he just thinks it was simply the difference in interpretation. But and he off, went back and looked at it. Yeah, he went back and looked at the report himself. His colleague thought it looked like a PFO. He doesn't think it looks I like a PFO. See. You get people that read these things different. But regardless, if you, whether there's a PFO or not, it's not going to change treatment at this time point in time and I'll have another yeah, echo in six months. We're about to try to ride a bike. The front gear though, she only has a cruising gear up front. 
Uh, and you remember how to switch gears on your bike? No, but I ain't doing that intense riding. <laughs> well, because of the hill, you're going to need a lower gear. I think she's just going to go down the hill, maybe not up. You should take a picture of her. <laughs> I'm being like Danae. <laughs> Time is a wasting. Over here. So what happens if I crash? I'll come pick you up. Okay, your kickstand isn't up. I haven't rode a bike in three years. You never forget Okay, well I beg to differ. See? You're doing good. There's a bump. So go slow over the bump. You can turn around at some point. That's always, now that's the hard part doing is turning around. I love her so much. <laughs> yeah. She's talking to herself. You have to tell her to switch down to a lower gear. Oh, okay. Don't overdo it. Funny. How's it funny? You're just a talking. I don't know if you're talking to yourself or talking to <laughs> Selena and he don't hear you, but you're just a going. <laughs> well, Cheyenne, <clears throat> how's your bike riding going? It was scared. <laughs> I think I did it. Did you remember the the turn was kind of scary, huh? Uh-huh. Those handlebars are kind of weird though, they're like angled like that. This is like a cruising. It is, it's a beach like, cruiser. Yeah, you've got like a professional the dandelions? She likes just for coasting. <laughs> she just likes coasting. She don't like pedaling. There's a trail back there. You hear the owl? Yeah. How was our bike ride today? It was pretty good. We did two laps. Small laps. Very small laps, but, but they were I, laps. Con I conquered it. And they were uphill. Yeah. That was the toughest part about it. I think this bike ride was easier than walking. I think you would say. What are you doing? I'm scrolling through Insta. Hmm. An everyday thing? Mm -hmm. Follow me. <laughs> Follow you. You live an exciting life, Cheyenne. I do, I do. Girls should not be walking down this road. Who? That girl we just passed. Ow. Stop. And then you give, you give yourself whiplash? Yeah, my neck. Interesting. And my poor arm. I just reach over to grab something and then you just heard the pop and I feel mm. like I'm sticking my finger in an electric socket every up my arm when I bend it. Mm. The struggles is real. It's like, I think like the ligaments pinching a nerve. 